Hi folks and welcome to yet another edition of Gourmet on the Road and this time we are at HSR Layout in Bangalore. Well, what brings me here? Eggs. More specifically, omelettes. So I've heard of this eatery called Egg Factor that's doing some interesting things with omelettes. And that's really what we're here to check out. I'm told Egg Factor zings up the world of omelettes. Let's go in and check out the interesting omelettes that are on offer at Egg Factor. Let's go. So I can see an, a whole range of omelettes here. I can see a grilled chicken omelette, pepper, prawn omelette, chili garlic squid, goat brain omelette, and even a mutton pepper fry omelette. And I also see a Japanese style omu rice omelette. So if you're looking for omelette heaven, I think we've certainly arrived at the right place. So Chef Kumar, I'm told the egg factor is your brainchild. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So that's Kumar who's a chef. And I can see all these eggs that you have here. So do you use different eggs in your omelettes? Yes, that's uh, up to the customer. These are naughty eggs. This is also naughty eggs. And this is a giri raja, is ah, it? These are much bigger eggs. Much bigger eggs with the two yolks. With two yolks, wow. All. So what should I start with? You start with chicken uh, cheese first. So I'm going to start with the chicken and cheese omelette and then work my way through to some of the other omelettes. And I can really see the effort that's gone into the prep here. Whether it's the herbs, whether it's the chili, whether it's the meats that have been marinated and kept. This is certainly an establishment that takes its eggs, that takes its omelettes seriously. I can smell the garlic, I can smell the thyme. Can't wait to taste this omelette. Onions, it's got tomatoes, it's got mushrooms, it's got some capsicum and it also has some baby corn. So Egg Factor is not just about omelettes, but it's about gourmet omelettes. So three eggs is a standard omelette here. That's really what it's about. So you're coming here for an omelette meal. Wow, that's a loaded omelette. Thank you very much. It smells delicious. This certainly is a loaded omelette. You can see the chicken, you can see the baby corn, the peppers, the onions, and the cheese. This is going to be a delicious omelette. Here goes the first bite of the chicken and cheese omelette. Mmm, I love the savouriness of the cheese. That's the first thing that I'm getting on my bite. I'm also getting the chicken, and the nice thing is that the chicken is marinated well. So the chicken has flavor. It's not some bland chicken dyes that you will typically find, let's say on a pizza or something like that. This chicken has been marinated well and I can really feel the flavors come alive. Oh, look, this is beautiful. The vegetables give it that crunch and you definitely have that chili kick which zings up all the flavors in your mouth. So next we're gonna taste a pepper prawn omelette with country eggs. I think this probably has to be the most organized street food eatery that I've ever seen. So what are the spices that would have typically gone into this once yeah. again? Salt, pepper, okay. black pepper. So you grind your own spices? My spices. Mm, it's very you aromatic. Keep, uh... The fresh herbs, the freshly ground spices. You know, that's the heart of a great meal. The prawns are getting torched right there. This is taking omelettes to a whole new level. Oh, lovely. You look at the omelettes here and you know that each omelette is a labor of love. It's not an omelette that's just tossed together in a pan and dished out. A lot of thought has gone into each omelette and a lot of care and attention. I think that's what makes the omelettes here truly, truly special the spiced, torched prawns. You can taste that sweetness in the prawn. The prawns are absolutely fresh. They've got a crunchy bite and they are cooked just perfectly. When I saw the prawns being torched, truth be told, I was wondering whether the prawns would get overdone. But no, these prawns are just perfectly cooked, perfectly seasoned. You taste the spices and yet you taste the prawn. You taste the sweetness of the prawn. 
delicious. I've got a nice piece of prawn inside my omelet. I've got some vegetables. You can see some broccoli. You can see some peppers and some mushroom. These certainly are dinner omelets. Mm. If there was ever such a term as desi gourmet omelets, I think this would be it. I think these omelets are full on when it comes to flavor, when it comes to ingredients, when it comes to the stuffing. These are omelets that are designed to fill you up and fill you up happily. Goat brain omelet that I'm going to ask Kumar to do up next. So there's a fair bit of chili here to balance the... Yes, because the uh, brain has to be a little spicy. The goat brain has that rich, almost gamey flavor. So there's a lot of spice, there's a lot of ingredients that's going in to create a masala that's as robust so as to balance out the meaty, gamey flavors of the goat brain. This is going to be one decadent omelette. Kumar spends about 10 minutes, 15 minutes on each omelette. These are omelettes taken to a whole new level and cooked with a lot of love and care. This guy is not a cook, he's an omelette artist. You know, as I was watching the goat brain cook with the onions, with the tomato and all the spices, I was watching the fat of the goat brain bubble away. This is going to be a lusciously tasty omelette. And I'm going to taste the goat brain first just by itself. All that creamy, gooey, custardy goat brain. Mm. It is hot, but it's so good. You know the goat brain, it's luscious texture. It almost, it melts in my mouth. And you taste that slight meaty, gamey sort of a flavor, but you can taste its lush, buttery texture. Let's taste it now with the egg. This is going to be one mouthful. And for something which is as robustly flavored, as creamy, as gamey, as buttery and as meaty as goat brain, I think it's got the right amount of spicing that balances out the flavors of the goat brain. I think that's what's interesting in all the omelettes that I've tasted here at Egg Factor. Mm. But I'm told that Kumar does some fruit-based omelettes as well. So I'm going to request him to do one of his fruit omelettes. And that's a pineapple omelette. I haven't tasted it. I don't know if you have. But let's find out what a pineapple omelette is all about. So when you have overripe pineapples, the sweetness develops further. So when you put them on a pan, you have the sugars from the pineapple that concentrate, that caramelize, that comes together in that sweet caramel sort of flavor. So he's torching the omelet to make sure that the cheese melts beautifully into the omelet. There you have it, my smoked pineapple and cheese omelette. And what I really saw right at the beginning was that the pineapple was tossed with some garlic and some chilli. So I want to first taste the flavour of the pineapple, just by itself. So it has that tart, zingy acidity and you have that chilli hit at the back of your throat. It makes for a nice sort of jugalbandi that's happening on your palate. You've got all these flavours that are coming together. You've got the thyme here, of course, and also the rosemary. Mm. The fact that he torches the pineapples, that he torches the omelette after cooking the pineapples in them, really ensures that your omelette is hot. So although you're in a street food sort of an environment, you're still enjoying hot, tasty food. I think the creaminess of the cheese brings the pineapple, brings all the spices together and rounds off all the flavours. You know, truth be told, when I came here, I didn't know what to expect. But after having tasted four omelettes, 
I tasted a chicken and cheese, I tasted a prawn, I tasted a goat brain and of course now the pineapple omelet. I think Egg Factor takes eggs, takes omelets to a whole new level. Egg Factor takes a humble ingredient like egg which typically people associate only with breakfast and takes it to a whole new level. I'd love to know what you thought of the omelets here at Egg Factor so do leave a comment below and stay tuned to Food Lovers TV. Until the next episode of Gourmet on the Road, happy eating.